After the stunning ruling from the U.S. Supreme Court to erase constitutional rights to abortion, clinics across America have already started closing. The decision to overturn the landmark Roe v. Wade case has been met with fury and frustration from the millions of Americans it will impact. But as they took to the streets in protest, others celebrated the decision as a hard-fought victory. North America correspondent Jade McMillan reports. Tears of happiness as a decades-old precedent came crashing down. Anti-abortion campaigners had spent years hoping for this moment. Many others had long feared it. Marginalized communities, poor communities, people of color, black women especially, are going to die because of this decision. As flagged in last month's leaked draft opinion, the Supreme Court stripped away the constitutional right to an abortion, overturning the landmark 1973 decision in Roe v. Wade and handing power back to the states. Around half are now expected to ban or significantly restrict abortion, leaving communities across large parts of the country hundreds of kilometres away from a provider. We won't go back. Some already had so-called trigger laws in place, which came into effect as soon as the decision was delivered. Others are expected to move soon as protests erupt right across the country. Today, the Supreme Court of the United States expressly took away a constitutional right from the American people that it had already recognized. The case centered on a Mississippi law banning most abortions after 15 weeks of pregnancy, well before the 24 week minimum, which had been nationally guaranteed. The 6-3 vote to uphold the Mississippi ban was powered by conservative justices, three of whom were appointed by Donald Trump. But the Chief Justice, John Roberts, didn't join them in voting to overturn Roe altogether, describing it as a dramatic step. The former president claimed credit for the court's work, saying it was the biggest win for life in a generation. Because of Donald Trump, Mitch McConnell, and the Republican Party, their supermajority in the Supreme Court, American women today have less freedom than their mothers. The people have won a victory. The right to life has been vindicated. The voiceless will finally have a voice. This decision doesn't mark the end of the matter for either side. Anti-abortion campaigners will now focus on trying to get it outlawed in as many states as possible, while pro-abortion advocates say they won't give up until their rights are returned. I'm not defeated. We're going to be fighting back. We're going to be fighting like hell, but it is absolutely terrifying. Half a century after it changed the country, life in a post-Roe America has already begun.